Welcome to TechieJack. In this video, we will see how to configure WireGuard VPN on Windows Server. Why WireGuard? Because it is considered fast, modern and secure VPN tunnel. Therefore, it is also easy to configure. To set up the WireGuard, we need two type of configuration. One is server side and another is client side. First of all, let's have a quick view what we need in the server side configuration. When you want to configure the server configuration, it requires the public and private key. You not need to worry about these keys because these are generated automatically by the WireGuard. And we have a port like 51820 because WireGuard listen on this port by default. And also you can see the address that is 192.168.90.1 slash 24. You can choose any one of your choice network series for example like 10.0.0.1. This will be the VPN server IP. And if you see the picture here, on the server configuration, we have to also provide the peer setting that is public key of the client computer and allowed IPs. Like the allowed IP that is 192.168.90.2 that will be the first IP assigned to the client. So in the picture, you can see the complete configuration for the server side. And if we talk about the client side, we need the public and private key. First address will be this 192.168.90.2 slash 24. We will provide the DNS that is 8.8.8 .8 .8 and 8.8.4.4. .4. And here in the peer, we have to set the public key for the server and allowed IPs that means 0.0.0, .0 means the client can connect from any network. And here in the endpoint, you need the public IP. Usually that is configured on the router we need that port like 51820 and this port should be forwarded to your WireGuard machine. Make sure to forward this port to your WireGuard machine so that it can establish a connection. So let's go to the server and see how we can configure it. So right now I am on a Windows server and if I do the IP config here, you can see my IP is 192.168.20.6 and I will make this server as a WireGuard VPN server. So what I have did, I have forwarded this 51820 port to my server IP that is 20.6. And now if you want to download the WireGuard VPN setup, you can just type the WireGuard download on the Google and you will get this installation link. Just click on that link and here we have the installer for Windows. Let me just download it. It's downloaded. Let me try to run this. After completing the setup, you will see this screen. First of all, let's try to add a tunnel and I will say add empty tunnel and you can name this tunnel as a WireGuard server and you can see the public key is there and private key is there. So what I will do, I will create a notepad and I will just copy this public key here. So this is my server public key and I will click on save and here also you have to click on save and again we will go to add empty tunnel and now here we will create the WireGuard client key. I say client and we have the public key here. So client public key is this and I will click on save. So we have created the public and private key for the server and the client. Let's complete the server configuration. We will go to the server settings and we'll click on edit. And here I have this settings for WireGuard server. I will just copy it from here and I will paste it here. So we have the public key for the server, private key for the server, listening on port 51820 and the VPN server address is 90.1 slash 24. And the peer means the client which will get connected with this server and public key for that client. We need that public key. Here we have that public key already copied and I'll paste the public key here. And this is the 192.168.90.2 will be the first IP will be assigned to the first client which will get connected to the server. Same way you can add more peer. I am just showing you with the one peer. That's it for the server side. We have configured our peer that is client on the server side. Just click on save and now go to the client side and click on edit. And for the client side configuration, I have this. So I will copy this and I will paste it here. So the first address is 90.2 slash 24 we have the DNS server here we need the server public key so I will copy this and I will replace this key with the correct server key and allowed IP from any network 
an endpoint that is our public IP and already the port is forwarded. So I will click on save. Let me close this as well. And now I will export the configuration and I will choose the desktop by the name of VPN and we have it here. Let me extract it. So we have both the configuration here and we just need the client configuration and from here now we can remove the client configuration and I will remove it here like this. So now our only the WireGuard server configuration is there. Now if I try to activate this you can see that it is active and here we have this WireGuard LAN card. We have to share the connection. We have this real connection. You can see the IP is 20.6 and we have to go to the properties sharing and we have to share this with the WireGuard server click on OK. This is necessary because without this the connection will be connected but you can't access anything. So with the help of this you can also access the internet after connecting to the VPN. So this is shared. Let me close this. I will copy the WireGuard setup from the download and here we have that setup. So I don't need to download it again. Along with this we also need the client configuration this is the file like client configuration I will copy this and I will paste it to the remote machine let's set up the wire guard here so it is installed and now it's asking the import from file so this is the file let me try to import it and we have so we are on the desktop and this is the wire guard client configuration so now it is imported and let me try to activate it and you can see it is connected and if we go to the logs you can see key pair one created for peer one and it's receiving the handshake response from peer one sending and receiving is properly going on and now you can see we are connected now if i try to ping the vpn server i will say ping 20.1 that is actually 90.1 we are able to ping and if I try to ping the machine that is my Windows server you can see we are able to ping. So now if I go and try to do the remote desktop this is actually connected over the public IP. If I cross this and I try to connect with the local IP that is 20.6 and if I try to connect it now you can see it's asking to put the password and we are connected. This way you can configure the secure tunnel by configuring the WireGuard VPN setup and it is completely secure and fast even. And even if you don't have the public IP, don't need to worry. You can set up that with the help of dynamic DNS. You can comment me on this video if you want to set up the WireGuard with the help of dynamic DNS. I hope the video was useful. Let's meet in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.